crabby eating a spicy chicken, basil. It's a suicide, but let's go for it. Well, and the Krabby International Airport. Let's start our wonderful journey. The Krabby International Airport, we arrived around 9 p.m. Confused and tired, we agreed to take offer of private minivan to Kolanta for 1800 bucks. Lady that convinced us said that usually prices are above 2000, so it was a good deal. Let's get some SIM card and try to find transportation to go more than 60 kilometers or 100 I'm not sure let's roll on the journey to Kolanta around two to three hours of driving let's hit the road next time I would take share bus with other people for around 600 tops but at this time maybe it was the best deal Our driver was driving like crazy, but it's understandable because we were fighting with time to catch the last ferry to Kolanta Island. Mm, 50. We were so fast to catch the ferry. We did it. We managed to reach it from airport in less than one hour, I think. Yes. Perfect. Let's get on the board. The boat. The ferry. Perfect. We catch it. gonna carry the ferry let's go on the other side to the island Kolanta So we are approaching the other side, our island, we will spend the next two weeks, let's do this. After leaving the ferry we still had around one hour of driving to Mu 6. Our driver confused the road a couple of times, but we managed to get there with around 30 minutes delay. to our accommodation and this little friendly Gikon is waiting for us to welcome us hello hello there he say welcome let's enter so let's begin with our bathroom well it's not really impressive but it is okay we have fresh towels toilet papers everything we need and this is our accommodation spacey the bedroom a lot of space here air conditioner it smells okay and wonderful terrace all right so the owner Ask us what we want when we arrived and we said fresh milk and let's check if they provided it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and with some Kit Kat sweets, this and welcoming. So this is how it looks like during the day. We are in the middle of 
nowhere jungle this is our balcony and surroundings really dense jungle we are protected by CCTV and the tuk-tuk is waiting for us let me show you the rest of the jungle it's basically nothing there it's the last house how enormous the leaves are like one and a half meter long so this is the water supply for the house that we're living and this is the road it's connecting it to the city The road, city, wonderful countryside on Colanta. So this is probably a jackfruit. I'm not hundred percent sure, but looks like it from far. Monkeys gang here. Hello. Be, be careful. Just in case, be aggressive. <laughs> Just, no, no, no. It's a mother and son. We are good. We are good. We don't want to hurt you. Don't be afraid, mom. So here we have wonderful mosque. And some tourist places. Fatty Chabi. Hmm, this is not how I want to end up. Our first meal on Colanta and it looks so fancy. Pad thai covered with some egg and it's actually chicken. So let's check out the beach. Oh my yeah. This is what I was looking for. Here we are. The paradise. So on this hotel restaurant we bought one of the most expensive coffee for 120 bucks each. Totally not recommended. But as you might guess you pay for view here, not necessarily for the actual beverage. Hello little crab. Ooh, so fast. Little crab, little piece of crab. And there are more of them. So let's do a real Robinson Crusoe thing. We found some coconuts left in the middle of rocks, and now we will try to open it. So we have a stone, pretty sharp, and the coconut. And let's let's drop a couple of times and see what's gonna happen. Perfect tutorial how to, how to open it. This is a tutorial how to now not open it. <laughs> so let's do this. Fine, sharp corner. <laughs> this fits. Oh shit, now we can peel it up. I can tell you it's really exhausting. <laughs> Let's clean this up. Messed up. I probably would be way easier to use machete, but 
it is what it is if you're on the straight island and you don't have any tools and build coconuts the first stage the second is to crack it open you see this crack it's like gluing two parts of coconut and if we hit this part it should crack open let's check it out This is how to open coconut in few minutes. I will survive on the island as you do. This place is actually tsunami area. You can hit this island any any time. A mango tree roots her hairy tree that's a full relaxation cup of coffee and the jungle mommy's looking babies Steer fried noodles with chicken you can get for around 70 bucks in local restaurant, which is around two dollars. Pretty affordable. Wonderful coconut. Some local Thai restaurant. Welcome to local pate. Lovely pate. Fresh orange juice and coconut. This is the perfect way to start in your day off. Five star restaurant. The center of Mu Six Zoological Garden, and next to it, I am a coffee coffee stands for 40 bucks. Pretty good deal. So we have some predators cruising around for a prey. Let's see if they will get one. Lovely farting motorbike. We reached the forest or some plantation where they're collecting. Look, the whole forest has its own storage to collect the fluid. Our machine. The best way to explore this island is to rent a scooter. You don't even need a driving license, but just be careful. One day costs usually 250 baht, which is around $7. But if you rent for longer period of time, price will be lower. This looks like a jackfruit for me. Can you hear this? I'm sure it's a geekon. Oh, got silence. Where are you, bro? All right, so... You are the reason of this noise. Wow, you're so shiny. You're... Is that you? The reason making that noise? Hmm? Or you're hiding from Geekon? Probably hiding from a Geekon. Fried rice, some egg, chili, and chicken. Local mango sticky rice with some nuts replacement should be perfect as always. But see you, wonderful portion. Come here, I'm gonna protect my property. Oh, you just came to eat, hopefully. Not here to steal anything. Gymnastic. Yeah. 
some papaya soup piece of chicken looks so delicious roti over here oh such a pleasure fresh nutella roti oh, let's inject some sugar bump but the happiness is hard to describe welcome to ha b b barbecue restaurant let's find out the taste of the food here found it the original recipe the seeds and already peeled up mango it looks legit and looks incredibly delicious okay right. maybe we finish it but I want to clarify that the topping of mango sticky rice is actually a mung bean and it's growing between I believe April and May so either it's a mosque hidden in a jungle or it's someone someone's house more like a mosque for me that is quite interesting anyway angry cat from meme and the mosque once again it's quite spectacular go so fast continue our journey on this wonderful kind of like Harley some little gang going through the jungle oh, now they disappeared oh sitting there it's getting closer to us well, this guy is meditating or it's a chief of the tribe anyway he's the biggest the strongest he's watching everyone around he's definitely chilled comparing to the rest oh like this one Viewpoint Restaurant is a place on the way from Mu 6 located on the west coast to the east coast during the meal you can watch macaques playing around and embrace breathtaking view Prices are regular in this place despite its stunning location. Latte. Incredible view. Monkey King on the top. Welcome to Jackass. Oh, he seems stable. Perfect balance on this branch. Famer. It's actually a mommy taking care of her babies. Oh, yowing a little bit. Sleepy mommy. Enormous jackfruit here. Amazing how big it is in such a relatively small tree another foodie adventure this is spicy tom yum you can see a chili floating on the surface well i'm gonna die what can i say look at this comparing to my finger damn that's uh, that's scary imagine that at night it will enter your bedroom and walk on your bed the biggest nightmare Fixing it quite fast for tourists. But that's your day put some reinforcement. Yeah, I think this road will be finished soon, next week probably. Perfect place, perfect coffee. Lanta coffee, highly recommended.
local livestock. And by the way, here is evacuation route. Supposed to be aware of, just in case. Can you hear that noise? It's a frog that's scared of Gikon, I suppose. Okay, let me show you. Now she stopped. Hello. Where are you? Hmm. Must be somewhere here. Hey. Hello. Hello. Dog, dog. Little practice before the real sea diving. Practicing in the pool. Lovely Brazil chicken with a lot of dragons inside. We have some archaic book here. How to code Facebook 1.0. In Thai. Let's go, our incredible vehicle. So, this is the lovely road of Kolanta. Oh, it's getting steep. But it's wonderful anyway. Look at this view. Oh, shit. So, this is incredible viewpoint. Kolanta. We are on the way to a waterfall. Let's see how it's gonna be. Bamboo Bay, halal restaurant owned by locals with amazing sea view and lots of choices of food. There must be Russian minority there because their language in menu is Russian and they are selling Russian food like pilmeni. Staff is helpful and very friendly. Also prices are affordable despite spectacular location. This is how I would like to start my day off. So on the top or on the bottom of this island, this national park and this guy seems to want to have some conversation. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Such a loud noise and it's actually real. There are no any speakers generating it. Such a high frequency. It's incredible. It is actually real. Incredible road. Alright, so we have our ticket. It was 200 per person. Now let's explore National Park on our farting scooter. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Looks a little bit scary. Let's enter the rock beach. Looks like kind of Asian Iceland. Incredible. Mukolanta National Park, the park was established as a marine park in 1990. Mu in Thai means a group, a group of Muko means group of islands. This particular place is located on the most southern part of the island and the white lighthouse is the main highlight. Swimming is possible depending on the weather and tide. To the right of the beach it's possible to climb up to a lighthouse, although care is needed on the steep path. Lighthouse looks abandoned, but there is still functioning rusty ladder that you can use to reach the top. There are some interesting rock formations and good views of the coastline. 
If you want to take on the jungle trail, you are advised to be in good physical condition. There are a lot of steps, some of which are quite high. And you should wear sturdy shoes. Absolutely insane. Check out those palm trees, how they are shaped. And those leaves are growing on each side. Looks like kind of mushrooms. What you can observe here are crabs shelters in the sand and leftover sand after digging. Just the homes. Quite windy today, but let's explore this national park anyway. Now we are going to the lighthouse. Some storm is coming, so let's see how long we can stay here. Huge water monitor. Monitoring beach. Oh, it's friendly. However, seems a little bit scared. Okay, let's conquer this peninsula. A little bit slippery and danger. Let's see how action will be. It's not really that dangerous. This lighthouse doesn't look like it's for tourists or for anyone who would like to explore it huh. but anyway let's check it how it looks like inside huh. should we go or not? maybe we should doesn't seem stable but we climbed it anyway. It's super windy. Reach the top. I don't know how long I can stay here but it was incredible. the wind it's quite epic I must say with such a view so walking on this beach is so relaxing such a catharsis and listening to the waves is just free your mind from anything that is bothering you this is the boat I'm gonna carry, lost in the sand. Alright, the congrat congratulations will come soon when we reach the top. Let's do this. Quite steep. But we're not giving up. It is a nearly 1.7 kilometers long circular trail called Natural Trail, starting from the visitor center area and ending at the main road. It is a moderate walk and very picturesque. During this hike you can observe montane serdang, macacas, lichen, agar trees and sugar palms. Seems like we're going the opposite direction.
container. Starting raining, but we are, as always, not giving up and continue this trail. There's no snakes, no danger, so we should make it. So we encounter some natural habitants of this forest. Seems like they're during a dinner. Okay, so maybe we shouldn't disturb their meal and continue our walk. Have a good meal. Jungle trip. This is a precious agar wood. Natural wood has no economic value, but when fungus or insects give wood once, then it produces fragrant rubber to cover these flaws. We use them to produce perfume, which is in high demand. Like a piece of, it's actually a home for thousands of thermites. Incredible. The cicad making that noise. Nice hidden bridge in the forest. Let's get across. I'm sweating like crazy. We need to speed up before dark. A little viewpoint. Sugar plum is an ancient forest plant. This type of plum grows straight up to the sky and widely branch out. The fruit bunch composes of smaller fruits with three eatable transparent seeds squeezed inside. It's Around 15 past 5, it's getting dark, but we managed to reach the point where we're going down, so we should be fine. Enormous tree. It's quite steep, but we continue our journey. Alright, I'm sweating like hell, but fortunately for us, we managed to reach the parking and the night is not gonna catch us not this time right so we managed to reach but it's not the over because now we have to fight with those guards standing on our way and it's like the whole community is waiting for us all right we are have peaceful intentions. Oh, look what they're doing. Look what they're doing. Freaking vandals. Okay, should do this fast, right? It's messing up with the cone. What are you doing there? What are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Come down, leave it alone. A little chill on the rocky beach. Seems like low tide exposed some sea cucumbers. Look, it's full of them. I hope they won't dry out. We're slowly, slowly moving. Some 
corridor, chicken, uh, ginger, mushrooms, and other goods. And uh, cream sauce. Any organized trip by Andaman Dive Adventure. This trip includes two dives in Koha Lagoon and Koha Yai. Because I have Paddy Open Water Certificate, I paid 3,500 bahts, which is around $100. But if you have never dived, you can get introductory dive for 4,500 bahts, which is around $126. That includes pool training the day before. Prices included breakfast on the boat and dinner on the boat as well. Wonderful, delicious instant coffee. Just straight, not perfect. Now it's time to go down and follow our underwater guide. To go down I need to release some air from buoyancy control device to get a negative buoyancy. On the other hand, during descent I need to add a little more air to not get down too fast. Our guide is checking how deep we are on dive computer.
Dipareal sponge is a type of marine sponge that belongs to the class Demospongiae. Sponges are simple multicellular organisms that lack tissues and organs. They are filter feeders, meaning they extract microscopic organisms and organic particles from the water for nourishment. The presence of barrel sponges in coral reefs contributes to the overall health and balance of the ecosystem. Now it's time to finish our dive. Our guide is blowing air into diving marker buoy to show captain where we want to emerge. Diving accomplished, so amazing stuff. Let's get ready for second dive. Catch it. Oh, I'm not gonna catch it. It's gone. fish are fascinating group of colorful and unique marine fish known for their vibrant appearance and interesting behaviors. One of the most distinctive features of parrot fish is their beak-like mouth, which is equipped with few teeth that resemble a parrot's beak. The feeding habits of parrot fish involve scrapping and grinding coral with their strong teeth. The coral is then excreted as fine sand. In fact, some of the world's most beautiful white sand beaches are believed to be composed of parrotfish excrement. Moray eels are known for their unusual and highly specialized jaws. Unlike most fish, moray eels have a second set of jaws located in their throat. These jaws can shoot forward into the eel's mouth, allowing them to grasp prey and pull it down their throat. This is a trigger fish. Their name is not a coincidence, they are actually getting triggered pretty quickly. Trigger fish are well known for their exceptional parental care, particularly when it comes to guarding their nests. Female trigger fish lay their eggs in a depression they create in the sand or in a substrate. After laying the eggs, the female trigger fish fiercely guards the nest to protect the developing eggs and later the hatched larvae. What makes this behavior particularly interesting is the trigger fish dedication and aggressiveness in guarding the nest. What you can see here is an example of triggered trigger fish that is trying to bite one of our expedition member. Trigger fish have a set of strong beak-like teeth that are well suited for crushing and grinding hard-shelled prey. We need to exercise caution and maintain a safe distance to avoid triggering the protective instincts of this remarkable fish. Fortunately for us, no one got hurt.
Leurogia sinuosa is a jail-like species of the Philium nideria. It is commonly called bubble coral due to its bubbly appearance. The bubbles are grape size which increase their surface area according to the amount of light available. They are larger during the day but smaller during the night when tentacles reach out to capture the food. Last stop on our adventure was entering a huge cave. The entrance of the cave is at the depth of 12 meters. This cave is also known as the cathedral because of the blue light reflecting from the surface. Spices. So it's gonna be a food channel soon. Hello! What did you steal this time, bro? Little exploration of the east coast of the island. At least the road is much better on this side. Hello. Well, it seems like people forgetting on which side they supposed to drive, so there is a quick reminder for all those sleepy foreigners. What you can see here on the left are water turbines that are spinning to increase oxygen in the pound. They are farming here probably shrimps or tilapia fish. Here we got free spring rolls on the opening of Lantazong Thai restaurant and cafe. It's a Chinese restaurant, quite decent and modern. Unexpected visitor. Oh, it's dinner time. Oh, he's got company. Hey, you like these nuts? Delicious for you. Seems like it. Oh, there's one guard on a watchtower mm. patrolling area. Seems like. Or the oldest gymnastic perfect balance. Oh, maybe not so perfect. The boss is coming. Let's 
let's not mess with this guy. The fattest, the strongest from the team or gang, the most confident. Flat tire exploded. So we found on Colanta some nice crispy pork covered with omelette. It's wonderful breakfast. The best place, co-working space and the best coffee on Colanta. And I'm not getting any commission from this. The glass house, visit it, highly recommend it. Coffee here is so smooth and delicate. You will love it, you will love it. Shy mimosa, let me let me show you. Oh, it's so shy. Don't be so shy, please. Look at this guy. Massive buffalo. And this looks like a mellow could be I'm not really sure hello guys hello so this is the rubber tree and to harvest rubber from it you need to make this cut and then it's just basically harvesting by itself dripping straight to the seems to be a coconut look how how sticky it is real rubber and it smells like rotten milk basically yeah see the little jungle river in the middle of a rubber plantation or lab rubber forest basically this is the view from the local cafe and as you can see some coconut dropped on the ceiling and they're already growing they are already trying to place some of them roots somewhere see how the life is trying to conquer hello water monitor what are you doing why you twisted yourself like this? Un untwisting himself. Oh my god, bro, are you alright? Lobster Harbor. Tailboat. Let's get on the boat. Now we are going to Emerald Cave and passing by Ko Wan and Kong Ai on our noisy long tail boat. It's quite crowded on the boat, but we can handle it to enjoy cave exploration. Let's explore caves. Oh. Welcome to 
Mar Maracot Cave. Let's explore it through swimming, basically. <laughs> like all those people there. Let's enter it. I'm so excited. <sighs> nice. Wonderful Marcus Cave. Let's see what we can find here. Emerald Cave, also known as Tam Morakot or Morakot Cave, is a unique and beautiful natural attraction located in the Andaman Sea near the Trunk Islands. One of the most notable features of this cave is its stunning emerald green water, which gives the cave its name. <laughs> The cave is renowned for its hidden beach located within its interior. To reach this secluded beach, visitors must swim through a 80 meters long dark tunnel that opens up to a breathtaking hidden cove with emerald green water and a sandy beach. Super dark. I can't see anything, but here is the light in a tunnel and uh, like a paradise island. Breathtaking paradise in the middle of the island, hidden gem, amazing. Like a Tarzan, get to the top. The combination of the sunlight, clear water and the surrounding limestone cliffs adds to the beauty of the cave. Due to the fragility of the cave's ecosystem and the need to preserve its natural beauty, access to the cave might be restricted during certain times or regulated to minimize environmental impact. Get back on the boat. Let's get through this cave once again.
Let's explore this hopefully wonderful coral reef. Tonangia is a relatively small island, measuring about 4 kilometers in length and 2 kilometers in width. The island is characterized by lush tropical vegetation, white sandy beaches and crystal clear waters. Konangia is often described as a peaceful and quiet island, making it an ideal destination for those seeking a relaxed and tranquil gateway. It is less developed compared to some of the more popular tourist destinations in the region offering a serene escape. Lunch on the Paradise Island. While Konankai is not as heavily developed as other Thai islands, it does offer a range of accommodations including beachfront resorts and bungalows. Many of these accommodations blend in with the natural surroundings, providing a more immersed experience.
thunderstorm is coming. We got back just on time. So we are approaching a sunset spot point, we call it. I think it's accurate name. Let's enter it. Oh, I'm not sure if I can enter. Damn, I need to go back. box of crispy chicken for around like five dollars something and this is how I imagine this is how I imagine when I'm going to KFC to get full box of chicken this is gigantic finger for comparison right, so we move closer to the airport let's do some quick room check of sub id mentions and that's pretty nice like 400 dollars per two weeks i think it's a decent price let's check let's check bathroom oh, kind of modern well it's decent decent in general little saloon and let's check balcony. Oh, there's even a kitchen in the balcony. Interesting, interesting. And the view outside. Not far from the old town. A little trash here. Let's explore this place anyway. Levitating invisible top, also infinite water from the top, like in Harry Potter. Incredible! Welcome to the night market of Kolanta, close to the old town. You have everything here: pad thai, some uh, pita because we are in the the Muslim section, 
and what else you have everything seafood cappuccino 40 baht white house coffee it's the best highly recommend it it's incredible what you can get here there's even double rainbow unbelievable For epic sunset, this is one of them. Right after a thunderstorm. Now you can see all the pinks, diffraction of the lights, make it this show, nature, mother nature show. So as you can see it's just one big dot, so let me try to a little bit focus. Oh, now you see the difference. Now it's the epic view. So the fried chili chicken rice and this is fried rice with pork wonderful local cafe Polanta night market part two getting some local pita kebab because kebab is it's a copyright Coconut ice cream, similar to Bangkok. Let's check it out. If you ever wonder if in Thailand there are poisonous big snake, that's the proof. That's one of them. Unfortunately, not moving anymore, but I'm sure somewhere there there are still the ones that are moving. Look at this. 25 but that's a good price looks fresh this is it It is also entrance to following Giant's Elephant Sanctuary. Sanctuary provides a heaven for rescue elephants, allowing them to live freely and happily in a stress-free environment. Your visit will include heartwarming interactions with the elephants and they go about their daily activities. However, we got there just to visit Kolang Chak Waterfall. So at the entrance, we got personal guide that was included in a price of a ticket. You can see some coconut samples. It will be regrown somewhere else. This huge lizard here. Wow. Incredible. Look at this. It's here. Oh, really nice lake. Be 
the entrance to National Park. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. So we walk along the river to get to the waterfall. This one better, really beautiful. Hello. Oh. Damn. Big one, man. We are surrounded. We are surrounded by them. <laughs> Hello. The little obstacle. We can do this. Oh, there's some another group. I don't know. Stick is helpful. Not gonna lie. You huh. follow the river, only waterfall. It's nice how nature figure out the way to get through those rocks. Unbelievable. Let's enter. Mysterious cave. Get those branches. Oh, yeah. Stalactites. Yeah. Wonderful. Art of nature. This one, the roof from the tree. Big banyan tree on the top. Oh, you know? they're going uh, through those rocks. Yes, great. And first, like this, outside the same one, you know. Okay, put it oh. boots. Yes, great. Oh, and, right. then, and then, <laughs> up, and then <laughs> after, then, you know, 10 years, 10 years, 10 years, you know, big one. Like a mukito, eh? big mukito inside the cave, you know. Why? I cannot stay long, you know. You see elastic? Uh -huh. You see them? Yes. Uh, with the fright eagle, like a helicopter, you know. <laughs> Amplopigi, also known as whip spiders or tailless whip scorpions. Amplopigids possesses no silk glands or venomous fangs. They rarely bite if threatened by can grab fingers with their paddy pelts, resulting in a fern like puncture injuries. They range from 5 to 16 centimeters in leg span. Some bots over there. Nobody slipping. Yes. Like there. must be You see some inside Oh, let's explore another cave. So there is supposed to be some big spider. Where is it? Is it there? spider there? I hope you can see it. Uh, I need some light. Damn. Yeah, it's the size of my palm. Little uh -huh. you know? And then make here to make here, you know? So big, big, big. Like that whole day. It's another mushroom. You follow the water, you know? Yeah. Every route oh, this the water. This looks like octopus. Mm -hmm. The water, they come down some street, you know? Follow the water. And the layers of lava on, after eruption, after eruption that stuck on each other. Four. Ah, uh, so you burn it you know? and then we do like some smoke. Them, you know? and then the natural bees. Amazing. Dangerous. Ah, oh, yes, the matter. Yeah. You see in your eye, huh? Uh huh. Huh? You see in your eye? Uh -huh. Because someone is coming. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 
We have a lot of chameleon, some chameleon. So we arrived at our destination. This is that wonderful deep in the jungle waterfall. Unfortunately, it's a little bit shallow water. So maybe it's not good for swimming. <laughs> but I will figure it out. And some rubber trees. Yeah, I'm super sweaty. It was, it was definitely worth it. Around 30 minutes of walking, we arrived deep in the jungle. Right, so let's get to the top of this waterfall. A bit steepy, slippery road. We're gonna make it. Dangerous road. So now we reach the top. Oh, we can get even farther than that. Quite nice. Jungle river. the way down a little bit steep and slippery but I have my stick so we should make it without any injury a lot of proteins a wonderful creature our guide left us at the waterfall and told us to follow the river on the way back so that's what we are trying to do now Restoring energy, walking through the jungle. Fresh air, a little bit colder. It's just perfect. Hopefully we won't attract any tarantulas in our ways. Yeah. So Like a flower pot. Perfect flower rock pot. You can buy it in Ikea soon. Let's continue our river journey. So it's not an alarm, it's a cicadas here. They're so loud, it sounds like alarm. Amazing nature. Little jungle dam protected from foreigners to manipulate with it. Damn, they're crazy. Climb on a broken glass. Hey, be careful there, okay? Oh, another one, acrobat. How you do this, bro? How you do this? Damn, so sharp. Hey, be careful. He seems not to care. Carrying a bug. Oh, that was that is huge. Cobra, maybe not. They suppose it's poisonous. All right, we need to get out from this road. Unfortunately, it's dead. So this is the red pork and roasted duck. If some soup couldn't be better. The Neon Street, Old Town, Colanta, Macchiato in the glass house. This is the village next to Pirate Beach. Let's let's see some pirates over there. We reached the farthest place on the south from the east coast. Here are a little bungalows and restaurant. Also free entrance to see what they claim to be 1000 years old tree. Let's explore it. Hear a real sound of cricket. Amazing how loud they can be. 
Okay, let's find this 1,000 years old tree. Oh, this is the route. All right, let's go. A different type of monkey. Hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you now know how you're going to the rainforest? No shit. This way. Let's follow the path. Jungle. There it is. A thousand years old tree. You can see how enormous the size is. Those roots. Wow. It's incredible. Rainforest. Huge, huge, massive leaves. Here you can make a soup out of these mushrooms. Okay, I'm not sure, but if you can, then check it out. Make sure you can. Finally, you see the source. The source is coming. And it seems like it's treated well on the seaside with such a view. And moreover, you can check what feelings helps with depression. Hmm, interesting. The pirate beach, finally, we got here. Pirate beach. I don't know why this beach is called pirate. Maybe there used to live some pirates here that were robbing passing by ships. Anyway, nowadays there are lots of fishing boats passing by and fishermen coming here to cast the net. It's a rocky beach with quite hard access to the deeper waters, but coral reef seems to be in a good conditions. But some thunderstorm is coming. We should get out of here. A nice wow. fish. <laughs> What's the name of that fish? Yeah. <laughs> Let's continue our journey on our little crazy Honda, which is quite fast. Spicy tom yum with some, uh, I think, liver parts of crab balls and noodles. This is our everyone's auntie preparing perhaps the best mango sticky rice in Thailand. Check her stand on the Lanta walking street. Right, so here we have some botanical garden. Enormous, gigantic jackfruit. Look at it, compare my hand. Just like my, bigger than my head. And there are more, those wonderful fruits. I think they're ready to harvest. Or soon they will be ready. little journey around the island so we reached the viewpoint where we can see basically Kalanta from here and 
a nice fresh road so let's continue our little beast seems small but it can go over a hundred or around hundred anyway don't underestimate it speedboat on the horizon you can get to Koch, Karaman and other islands around We climbed from the beach through hidden stairs and found some European style house. I'm wondering what kind of foreigner is residing here. middle of Muslim communities there is a hidden Jewish people everyone living in peace and that's how it's supposed to be this looks like a Buddhist graveyard let's check it out of island exploration on this little beast and here is the plantation of palm trees and rubber trees incredible right so near the road the fresh mint is growing as you can see here on the right we have buddhist grave and those in the middle are chinese because of rounded concrete and low profile it seems to be a Chinese minority graveyard this island there is a growing sage so smelly intensive smell like we have some company that is enjoying mint so much eating it like crazy hello oh. okay let's not disturb his mint consumption or sage. The monkey did some jack a stand jumping from this palm tree to another. I hope can repeat his acrobat. Oh he's there. There are not much information about this place, but it seems that this building was built in 1953. It's a three-story house and nearby are what I guess must be the graves of builder of the house and his family written in Chinese characters. So this is another type of palm tree. I don't know if there are dates. Let's check the fruits underneath. Let's check them out. It's a little bit chewed by a monkey. Hmm. Looks like a little coconut, actually. So the fruit of tamarind tree and the tamarind tree itself. A huge one. So we have to remember that we are in a tsunami area emergency. So I guess it's not working anymore. But who knows? And there is a graveyard. Graveyard. Maybe the people that used to live here.
palm plantation. It's a nice road going through this. So we have some mosque in the middle of jungle. It looks pretty good. It's a part of Kolanta mangroves. What we are walking on is a collapsing ground, almost like a quicksand, so we need to be really careful. The cow seems to be intrigued, our presence here. So here they were able to connect the island with a power line, but they didn't build a bridge, unfortunately. Not sure if, if you can see anything, we'll try to record the coast, Kolanta. There should be some fire. Of course, when I try to record it, it's not showing up, so... Tommy on the plate, the shirt. Hey, stop eating, stop eating. It's enough. Let me show you how buying uh, illegal substances, or, or illegal actually in this case here, looks like. You can even grab it from the street. Sukoyaki with chicken, mushrooms, tomato sauce, Polish cafe here, something that I was the least expecting here, we have pierogi, drosu, well I should give it a try, <laughs> pineapple fried rice, some chicken, chiso nuts, cucumber, it looks spectacular. around 200 meters away walking away from other beach we arrived to secret beach well it's not so secret but at least there are not as many people as you would expect on the other beaches around here so I can recommend it Oh, what are you doing, bro? This is how it looks perfect breakfast. Such an incredible view. Dinner time. Oh, that was risky. That was risky. <laughs> Bamboo Beach, one of the most beautiful beach on Kolanta in my opinion. It has a super soft sand and long entrance to the water, so perfect for casual sunbathing. Moreover, there are rocks in the water that are interesting to explore with snorkeling equipment. It is located on the western southern part of the island, close to Mukolanta National Park. After swimming, Bamboo Bay Halal restaurant with amazing view is waiting to feed you up. The best wonton on Kolanta, Tanpi noodle shop. Give it a try, highly recommend it. We are in Old Town on the 
eastern coast of Kolanta and you can see the Chinese influence and it's quite remarkable for this place minority usually resides here and as you can see it's a, a different kind of Buddha than you can see in Hindu Buddhism The architecture in Lanta Old Town reflects its historical significance. The buildings are mainly wooden structures, many of which are over a century old. The town's layout and architectural style are influenced by both Thai and Chinese cultures, creating a unique atmosphere. Over the years, Lanta Old Town has become a hub for artists and creatives. Some galleries and shops in the area showcase local art and crafts. Local business, you can buy hammocks over here. Handmade, highly recommended. And let's see this little lovely creature sleeping so lovely. Recording. So we have some fresh seaweed, lobsters. Three thousand baht one kilo. Here. Muscles, crabs, 800 baht a kilo. Wow, that's a big one. And this Murik chair. Oh, what's this? Murik chair. Real brown sugar from sugar canes from here. And wonderful view. Enormous coconut, fresh coconut water. My palm, bigger than my head, around three kilograms, four, almost like eagle. Thai post. Welcome to Old Town. Italian restaurant preparing dough. Later on, they will bake it over here. There were no warnings, but it seems like we have really, really low tide today. Well, I hope it's not tsunami, please. There's also low tide. Seems people not to care that much. It looks like at least one meter is lower than usual. I hope it's natural. Wonderful. Spices and a wonderful view. It's a struggling cruise ship. Long Beach. Wonderful. Perfect place for skin borders. Such a flat land. I will give it a try and take a swim over here. Looks wonderful. Fortune, we are fortunate in our fortune because when you arrive to the beach, our back tire was flat, and these guys with Tuk Tuk just waiting there. It seems like they're waiting there for us to bring our scooter to repair shop. So I think we are very lucky today that we smoothly move ourselves. So now we are waiting for mechanic to bring back our tire and it seems we'll be ready to drive. 
excellent job. Our wheel is back. This is the fix power wheel. Should be solid. Bought something which is called Sala. I suppose it's like leech inside, but let's check it out. Right, I was wrong. It's actually more like durian laced. Tastes actually like lychee, kind of like. This is perfect restaurant. Instead of watching news, you're watching a fish in the oceans, corals reef. The next day our ordered minivan came to pick us up. We paid around 600 bucks to get to the airport. Minivan was full with 9 people inside. It took around 2 hours to get to the airport. This minivan is probably the best option if you don't want to overpay it and travel in decent conditions. vending machine on airport and between sodas, coca colas and others you can casually get yourself a beer. Look what is going on here. Agriculture is dominated by palm oil plantations. Most of the jungle and natural vegetations were removed and replaced by that. That's the result of enormous world demand for this ingredient and an unfortunate outcome of globalization. That will be all for this amazing adventure of Kolanta trip. It was wonderful to experience the beauty of this island. Underwater world, nature and local culture heritage will remain long in my memory. This is that kind of place that you want to return someday. The amount of freedom by traveling by scooter is unforgettable. Thank you for joining us on this adventure and see you on the next one.